wants to look perfect on her wedding day. But some may need some extra help. I definitely need a breast lift. There's a little excess tissue here. A little? <laughs> now there's a place where they can come to complete their quest for ultimate perfection. Tap, tap. OK, let's put her down and try a bigger size. This is bridal plasty. The brides will compete for the chance to have plastic surgery procedures before their wedding day. Tons of women get plastic surgery every day. They just don't admit it. She's going to fill out her wedding dress, that's for sure. And the last bride standing will not only complete her head-to-toe transformation, <laughs> she will also get a celebrity-style dream wedding. After being away from her fiancé for four months, she will finally walk down the aisle, and he will lift her veil to reveal her new look for the very first time. But to get there, oh my god, she must make it past every... discuss your surgeries, so let's take a look. I'm trying to be the perfect bride, Dr. Brown. Right. To really get this taken care of, you'd really want to sort of remove this, and that's more of a tummy tuck. It's hard to stand up there and admit all of your perfections, but at the end of the day, nothing is set in stone. You can change it. Here's your wish list. Thank you, doctor. Good luck. This is a heavy list, right? There's a lot of stuff on here. Liposuction. Here, here, all into this area here here and here and this area here 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 okay all of this all of this all of this all into here you have a little bit of irregularities in here i'm a mess back here back here Ooh, i feel like i'm part of an indian tribe <laughs> <laughs> all right there's a pock mark here right which is right there I think we do all of these procedures, you're gonna look pretty smoking hot, honestly, <laughs> so. Everybody wants that beautiful dream wedding. And even though Derek has told me over and over, he's like, no matter what, Lisa, he's like, you are beautiful. I wanna step out there and say, I feel good about me, and I'm happy. Good luck, okay? <laughs> Allison, come on down. <sighs> so do you Yay! Guys? So Allison, you have done. Really? <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad at all. There are so some things that are just not meant to be shown. I have a three year old son, and things just never went back to normal. I've got that tire thing down here. I could actually make it talk at times. Help me, please. Suck me out. It won't go away. <laughs> all right, now let's look at your body. Mm. <laughs> the little excess tissue here. Okay. A little? <laughs> there are some things that are meant to be covered up. They do not make bikinis for oversized women, and I'm telling you, that was uncomfortable. Yeah. I could go to a bar, put a dollar bill in my bra, and find it three days later under my boob. <laughs> you know? Come on, that's not supposed to happen. I'm usually the funny girl in the room. Humor is what I use to cope. You have some breast shape issues with conical shape to your breast, right? You have perfect breasts for doing a breast augmentation. And then liposuction of the tummy, yep. right here, lower part. Seeing these girls, I am surprised that there are so many skinny ones that want to get work done. All the lipo. Liposuction on both sides. A contouring laser liposuction very easily and reduce these areas. I'm just gonna be honest, okay? The skinny bitches, like, run it. I could, like, swallow her. Seriously, swallow her, like, for real. And you wouldn't even know. You'd just be like, oh, are you bloated? We can certainly put a breast implant in on both sides. When you have a deflation situation, do a simple breast augmentation. I'm seeing some girls that look damn near perfect, okay? Liposuction here and the outer thigh here. Oh my God, you're ridiculous. Your areolas are going down a little bit. We can do a breast lift and bring them to the center. Now the tummy. Fullness here. There's some in the upper quadrant here. 
in the lower quadrants on both sides. Here's your wish list. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> this season on Bridal Plasty. Okay, ladies, you'll be leaving for your plastic Hi. surgery immediately. Let's go do this. I want to look voluptuous. Oh my god, I love it. I've wanted to get my nose fixed for so long. <gasps> Bittersweet. I want to be in that room. I want to be recovering. Do you think you could show me your best scars? I'm definitely considering changing my vote because it's the right thing to do. Melissa's a little naive. She needs to suck it up a little. If I go home tomorrow, I'm not going to get my skin fixed. I want this tummy tuck. I want it more than anyone in this house. Have you ever had any hesitations about getting married to Scott? No. <gasps> Are you satisfied with your sex life? No. <laughs> See you this afternoon at the most exclusive wedding dress store in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Here's my cell. I'm a diva, I'm a curvy lady, and I want to look good. Time to strut your stuff. Alexandra and her dress are all that stand between me and my boob job. The winner of Bridal Plasty will get a Fiji Vacation <gasps> Honeymoon Package. My dreams are becoming a reality. Fiji. Oh my God. <laughs> Forming the alliance just made sense. I will give you my word that if it's you and Melissa in the bottom next week, I will vote for you. This is really gonna be a test of whether I'm really the puppet master or not. They're the fakest bitches up in here and they're gonna be the ones standing at the end if no one stops their asses. There is clearly an alliance and I don't like that sneaky bull Allison's voting for me, who the are you voting for? They're fake ass bitches. I don't wanna play some fake ass game. You don't deserve to be here. Why would you just stand here and say you didn't say it? You're just making me look like a your quest to be the perfect bride is over. No offense, but at least I'll go home with 